Hi friends, welcome back to Nessa's Look. So today I'm going to try something that I've never tried before. You know how when something comes to your attention, automatically something happens and you see it all everywhere. Well, Heinz has been wanting this um, chicken a la king. I've never ate it. I've never tried it. Mark's never ate it. I guess it's been a household staple growing up for a lot of people. Obviously not us because we were living underneath a rock or something. So I have the butter and oil mix um, uh, over here warming up. I have my chicken that's pre-cut, so I'm going to go ahead and cook up my chicken and get this started. So I'll bring you down, bring you over to the, uh, the stove here, and we'll cut open this bag, get this put in here, and get this chicken cut up. And then um, I do not have any heavy whipping cream, so instead of using the... Um, heavy whipping cream. I'll be adding just some butter more to the milk. And I will be using my own home done uh, chicken broth from the whole chicken I had yesterday. I still have to get around and actually can up the rest of that. But I'm going to see if there's any meals I'm going to use before I can do that and I won't have to worry about canning up anything. So I'm going to go ahead and turn up this a little bit and get this uh, chicken cooked. Uh, get the rest of it put together here and I'll be right back. Alright, so the chicken is done. And what I'm just going to do is throw that on that plate right there. That they keep my spatula on. And then pretty much what you're going to be doing is you're going to be making a roux here. And I'm sure those little bits is not going to hurt anything. So I'm going to go ahead and add in my butter. Because like I said, I'm going to be adding um, butter to the uh, milk to make that <clears throat> the heavy cream. So what I'm going to be doing is melting this butter. And I have a half a cup of flour here that I'm going to go ahead and Anybody who's made a roux of any sort knows that you pretty much cook up the flour until it's kind of like nicely all cooked and you can't really see the flour anymore and it, it just, I mean you can see the flour but you know what I'm saying, it's um, actually uh, more like a, probably helping my, all my stuff was melted a little bit better, um, like a, um, not like a, like a gravy thing, but it's going to look like a gravy type thing. So I'm going to go ahead and keep stirring this. I don't want to bore you. And I will be back as soon as this is all melted and ready to go. Okay, that's probably a little bit more brown than probably the white gravy that I've seen in all of them. That little butter is still melting. I'm going to go ahead and throw in my two cups of chicken broth first. So I can grab up the... Um, little niblet things that's at the bottom and kind of get that off my stainless steel pan. It doesn't matter if you have stainless steel or whatever kind. That stuff always seems like it still sticks at the bottom when you're frying. Before I add the two cups of milk. But I can meanwhile pour the two cups of milk. Pulling that completely off the burner. It won't warm up that way. <clears throat> Now we're also not adding the mushrooms, we're not adding the peppers, um, we're not adding the pepper or any salt to this until we're at the table. Um, so this way everybody can have it done as they would want. But what you're doing is, um, if anybody's made any type of gravy, you know how it takes a few minutes, about two or three minutes to get things thick. But I don't want to have them heat on too high to um, actually make this where it's going to um, scold or anything. So because the milk is in there now, I'm going to keep a better eye on this. Let this get nice and thick. I'll bring it right back and then that's when we'll put in the chicken and the um, peas and corn. And we're just going to serve this over toast today. Um, you can serve this over normally, I guess, noodles, rice, toast, 
or whatever, but we opted for the toast today. And I'll be bringing you back as soon as this is actually nice and thick. All right, because we're pretty much winging this to this meal, um, this did get kind of thick, but it's obviously going to still cook because you have to put in the vegetables. Now, I'm going to go ahead and put in the chicken so I don't burn myself here. And then, because I don't have the mushrooms, I am just going to go ahead and actually put in the whole 12 ounce bag of peas and carrots because it would have been it would have been um, eight ounces of of uh, mushrooms and a cup of um, a cup of the peas. So this way, it's still going to be like the 16 ounces. So you're going to let this cook for about another two or three minutes. Uh, get these peas and carrots warmed up and yes it did say to use frozen ones but this is kind of looking honestly like how I seen the pictures even though um, that might help even though I have never had this before I do have some toast ready over here and we'll have this up here in a few minutes let this get warmed out of the way and I'll be back all right so this is what it's looking like I did take a little bit of a taste um, I definitely would want salt and pepper on this, um, but that's me. I don't know for sure what the boys will think, but I think this will taste pretty good over the toast. So this is my first attempt ever at Chicken Ella King. Like I said, we didn't make it completely like we probably should have according to the directions I found online, which I can include down below. But this is my first attempt, and I hope you enjoyed this. You'll have to let me know if you've made this and if you've made any different, um, different things in here than what I did. So thank you very much for stopping by. I hope you have a very blessed and wonderful day.